yeah, I got this record. Actually, I got a couple records I did for CeeLo that I think are amazing. Um, you know, um, you know, it's, the label loves them and all that stuff, but then sometimes the label and the artist ain't on the same page. So it's just, you know, I think it's getting the music to, to the right people at the right time. So it's all about timing, but yeah, I have, yeah, I have some CeeLo records that are really dope. I got some Rihanna records that, like I almost made Rihanna's last album that I mean, with this crazy record that um, this uh, songwriter Priscilla Renee and my other homie uh, Fran wrote. This this is it's crazy, but um, you know, hopefully, you know, a lot of times uh, with placements, it's you know, you may think it will work for this person, but you know, years later, they might sell to somebody else and be a bigger record, you know. And you know, even with just your beats in general, you always have your favorites. But it's it's funny that like my favorite beats never get bought. It's always the beats that that I was like, oh man, they picked that beat, you know. And, and this is weird like that. And it's always older beats too. Like I rarely sell beats the same year they were made. Like I always sell beats from like three or four years ago. It's weird.